Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Shark here with another 1v1 on the map Villa Fiore between two rank 100 players. Coming from Great Britain, we have Debacle playing as the American Advanced Infantry Battle Group. And coming from the Republic of Korea, we have Hoshot playing as the Wehrmacht Mechanized Battle Group. This match sees a lot of back and forth action across the central square there in Villa Fiore. A lot of high quality infantry engagements. It's really fun to watch, so I appreciate you guys sending this one in. As always, links and timestamps in the description below. And with that, we'll roll under the video. All right, everyone. So we got Debacle playing as the US, starting at the bottom of the map, the uh, the west side, right? Building a barracks right away. Uh, and then we've got Hoshot on the east side of the map at the top of the screen, at least for now, playing as a Wehrmacht. Um, and he's getting Grenadiers out as well as a second squad of Pioneers, which is, uh, that's interesting. Um, I think normally, you know, I see people when they go for a non-combat unit, get that Ket and Krod out. So I'd be interested to see how he uses the Pioneers. Rifles coming out for debacle. We have riflemen taking the field. Riflemen reporting. Second squad of rifles. So this is always something that I, I try to think about. It's like, how do I want to break down the map? Villa Fiore um, is, is normally like three lanes, right? You got the center, the left, and the right. Um, on each player's right is their high fuel point and their high munitions point that's, that's split. Um, and I normally try to start with only two lanes unless I have like a crowd shoots in or a cat and crowd, something that can, that can cap up on the periphery. Um, and so you see that Debacle's got his rifles in the middle right now and his scouts who have the higher capping speed on his high resource side. Uh, whereas Hoshot, um, getting an MG42 out, looks like he's trying to spread the map a little bit more using his two pioneers to cap. And as Gren's pushing up in the middle, he's avoiding the big urban area in the center. MG42 coming out. It just interests to see how these guys approach. Both very good players. Um, with a lot of experience, and Debacle actually does a bunch of casting and replays, uh, too. He has his own YouTube channel, which I'll, I'll link below. Um, so looking forward to see how he plays this. Good flank on the MG42 with the rifle squad. He will flip around, and the rifles are going to dive into the green cover here, which should keep them from getting suppressed, but the, the MG42 still does so much damage. Um, wow, that was a long burst. Scouts coming up on the flank, and the Pioneers are going to do more damage to these rifles than they used to. In theory, anyway. Oh my gosh. The Scouts are going to clear this MG42. Maybe? Yep, there it goes. Pioneers take a lot of damage off of the, the rifleman, but don't drop as many models. And good start for Debacle, getting that MG42. Uh... He lost a couple of models on this rifle squad. It took a lot of damage, so he'll need healing. But I, I'll take that trade all day. He's already got a third rifle squad on the field. And I think the flip on the MG42 is going to have a huge impact on early map control. Hoshot just abandons that engagement. Without the MP40 upgrade, I don't think his Grenadiers go toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, up close to the rifles. Commander, it's done. Another MG42 coming out to replace the one that was lost. Debacle's rifles stay in at range with these pioneers. Looks like they're more concerned about losing this munitions point, so they're going to pursue these grenadiers. Think they know we're here. Going to get pinched by the pioneers here. And he's going to focus them down instead. This cover is not really helping him right now. Uh, there's a thing called a point blank mechanic. Wow, the grenadiers merged with the pioneers for the close uh, DPS with their MP40s, and these rifles are going to have to retreat here shortly. Right? You would think. There, there they go. They've taken our victory point. MG42 in the open. The rifle squad is going to try to get into green cover. And they do successfully, even though the one model looked like he was sitting out. Debacle's MG42 in the rear, not part of the engagement, and these rifles are going to get burned down here. 
Yeah, crazy how much this engagement flipped compared to the previous one. Scout's now capping up the opposite side of the map, but Debacle losing control of his uh, high fuel point and high munitions point. Debacle's going to get a mortar out, which I think is smart. Um, I normally go for a mortar relatively early against uh, Vermont just because of the strength of the MG42. Debacle capping the cutoff up here, but this MG42 is going to get uh, beat up by these pioneers. Oh, but he... And he doesn't get the wipe on the Grenadier, and he's gonna have to retreat the MG42. Mortar is gonna force this MG42 to displace. And so basically, players have swapped each side of the map here. Very fluid play. Good use of the smoke. But, but cutoffs exchanged, high fuel, high munitions points exchanged. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting little swap in map control here. Neither player has chosen a battle group yet, so, um, but Hoshot's going to go for Panzer Grenadiers, which I think makes sense, right? There is a lot of, uh, close combat on this map. Um, Dubak was playing very infantry heavy for right now, uh, so that, that makes sense there. And then I wonder what the thought process is here. He knows MG42 is over here somewhere, right? So how do you approach it? Do you just ignore it? and try to cap up this fuel over here, which will be captured shortly. And he'll see the P-Grens as they, they cross the capping circle there. So he knows they're out. All right, Debacle going for uh, for Rangers right off the, right away, the first thing he unlocks. Captain out on the field as well. I guess he's concerned about a flank here because he's got the MG42 facing to the rear. P Grand's force off the rifles. The combat power seems pretty even here so far. The rifles use sprint to get away. And now the MG42 is positioned to support. Meanwhile, Hoshot's MG42 over here, not doing a whole lot except for holding on to this fuel. I like this from Debacle. He's basically setting up. There's a grenade coming in, but that's not going to clear the MG. He's setting up a little bit of a defense, but actually he's going to run into a risk here. Yeah, wisely retreats to get the Pegrens out. This MG42 is uh, pushed off. Oh, bundle on the retreat. Takes three models. Nice grenade throw. I, I like that, the use of the choke point, because he knows where the, the retreat path is going to be. And he, he guessed that just right. That's an awesome, awesome read. All right, motor pull up for debacle now. Yeah, with the Panzer Grenadiers, right? Not a lot of anti-vehicle uh, utility, but the Pack 40 is available at the headquarters. Hoshot is going to choose Mechanize here and get an 8 rod out right away. Also has upgraded veterancy on his Panzer Grenadier headquarters, uh, which will make a big deal, make a difference when he starts getting AT guns out. Um, debacle has not tech grenades. So... This 8 rod has the potential to do a lot of damage. Fortunately, Debacle is floating some manpower, floating enough fuel for either Greyhound. He would have enough for a Chaffee soon. So he's got some options here. He's going to go for a Greyhound, which I like because it's got good anti-infantry uh, potential to help deal with some of these, these Panzer Grenadier pushes. Multiple simultaneous engagements here. Um, this rifle squad could be in trouble. But they do get away. And this 8 rod is just going to basically push across the map. Uh, trying to drive away Debacle's forces. And create space for these Panzer Grenadiers to come in and do work. And so, it looks like Hoshot's going to take really, really good control of the map right now. Uh, that's a really weird retreat path, and this MG42 is definitely going to go down here to that 8 rod. Oh, 
Bro, it sets up and then breaks down again. The Greyhound's here to try to push it off. MG42 goes down again. And the Grenadiers tried to recover it, but they're gonna die. This is at least entertaining. Everyone fighting over a single MG42. This Greyhound, this is a good counter uh, to the 8 rod. There's a second one out now. Uh, so debacle getting an AT gun out. He finally recovers MG42. Uh, so he's going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. Alright, and the first squad of Rangers on the field. And these guys should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Panzer Grenadiers, especially with the Greyhound in support. Really need bazookas to deal with these eight rods, though. So, ho shot all three VPs. Good to see the triple cap. Uh, not able to recap this fuel over here. So he's not doing a ton of damage to Debacle's economy. Eight Rod and Greyhound going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here briefly. Rangers hop in the building here. Now, this building does not provide a ton of help because it doesn't have windows on the east or west sides. But instead, they, they're going to push up. Ooh, nice grenade. Does some damage to the Grenadiers, forces a retreat. Captain in contact with the Grenadiers over here, and he doesn't see the grenade. Oh! Captain gets annihilated by a grenade. And now Hoshot's got a pack 40 out. And so this Greyhound has to be very cautious. A couple of Grenadier squads on the field uh, that can snare. And then the pack 40 to follow up. He does have the upgraded uh, the armored skirts. That'll give it basically an extra AT gun hit's worth of uh, health. Rifles forced to retreat almost immediately in the face of those eight rods. And again, Hoshot doing a good job using the eight rods across the map to try to force uh, retreats and generally win map control. MG42 is going to square up in the center. The scouts cap the heavy kill point at risk of going down to the eight rods if they chase. Second pack 40 coming out now, and Debacle is going to double down and get a Chaffee out. Oh, these scouts are in trouble. Scouts go down. Greyhound does survive, gets away from the, uh, the pack 40. He's going to get healed up by engineers here. Rangers on the flank doing some capping, and they're going to get met by the Panzer Grenadiers, so this is a pretty solid heavy infantry engagement early. Jaffe out on the field now. Even better counter to the 8 rod, but won't be able to do as much to the infantry here. Um, so Hoshot sees the Rangers at the VP and moves his Panzer Grenadiers back to the center. He's got two AT guns out now. Um, Debacle, I thought he had one. I guess he had canceled it. So he's just getting his first out. And now, Hoshot, he's going to chase down these Rangers with the dual 8 rod set up. Chaffee coming in support. Good attack round through smoke. Enemy near now the pack is set up. Fortunately, no grenadiers around to snare. Chunks down the 8 rod. Second pack and an MG42 coming up. And the Greyhound's got to get out of here quickly. Which it will. Bends around the sight blocker. <laughs> A third Pyo coming out for Hoshot. Chaffee takes a hit from the pack 40. No Panzerfaust somehow. Hoshot's got plenty of munitions. Now here come the eight rods on the other flank. They haven't really been repaired though. They're a little damaged. But the AT gun is not in position and neither is the Chaffee to take advantage of it. Debacle has flipped the VPs back to his favor.
Uh, MG42 gets into the center building here to avoid the suppression. It's gonna take some damage from the mortar. Oh, white phosphorus rounds. Does a lot of damage to that MG42, but doesn't kill it. Oh, engine crit on one of the eight rods. And the Greyhound's here. Oh, prioritizes the far eight rod. Oh, just a sliver of health. The Chaffee's gonna chase. Uh, so Chaffee traded uh, for an 8-rod by the Pack 40 I don't know if I like that trade if I'm debacle. I, I think I would have hoped for a, a clean kill on one of the 8-rods. Now the Rangers pushing through, upgraded with the Flamethrower. They clear one of the Pack 40s. But they are not in a good spot here. Yep, and they're going to retreat. Greyhound gets another hit off on the 8-rod. The Support has to back out. It looks like Nabaka wants his rangers to be purely anti-infantry. You see, he got a bazooka drop from the weapons crate, but he put it on a rifle squad instead of his rangers. Which makes sense if he's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these pigrens all game. Good use of the hold fire on the Greyhound. I know he's clearly worried about that other pack 40 getting a shot off with the Greyhound at low health. Another Chaffee coming out. And so it looks like Debacle is going to focus mainly on infantry and light vehicles for now. Um, at least he knows with the mechanized headquarters from Ho-Shot, he doesn't have to worry about seeing a tiger. Um, we'll have to worry about a panther at some point. Did you see the smoke? And then interesting to see almost all of on his rifle squads, his first veteran see he's getting the sprint ability out, which I think allows him to deal with... Uh, the MG42s, now two MG42s. Grenade onto this one. Kills two models, but doesn't force a retreat. And a push on both sides of the square here. Rangers coming through the center. Right, infantry screening for the vehicles to deal with the uh, the AT guns. And here comes the 8-rod and a counter push. AT gun rolling up, but the 8-rod's gonna back out before the shot off. Both shot's got the triple cap back on. S uh, second Chaffee coming out now for debacle. And a big infantry push coming in here on the flank, supported by the 8-rod. First AT gun shot whiffs. There we go. There's one hit on the eight rod. Rangers now push up through the center. A uh, wide ranging engagement here. MG42 in the rear. Oh, Chaffee misses its shot on the 8-rod. Oh, good use of the airburst barrage. Chunks down a couple of the infantry squads, and this MG-42... Oh, Pioneers go down. God, that is a satisfying sound, though. It looks like this MG-42 team will get away. Chaffee's up, but two packs on their flank. This is dangerous setup. Oh, but they get in and get the 8-rod kill before the packs are set up. One Chaffee eats a single round, but the second shot misses. And so, finally, a, a good trade uh, for Debacle. Now he's got the light vehicle advantage here. Two Chaffees with an AT gun in support. A decent counter to a P4. The bigger problem he's dealing with right now is this triple cap. Looks like Hoshot is setting up for a big push uh, on the south side of the map towards Debacle's Fuel. Chaffee's switching to the opposite side of the map. Greyhound in the center. At risk of getting snared by the Grenadier, it takes one shot from the Pack 40, but backs up. Hands of Grenadiers are sprinting in, maybe to get after this mortar. 
And then Mortar's forced to retreat. Greyhound counter pushing. MG42 in place. The bundle grenade's gonna come in. And that MG42 is toast. And the Pgrins are gonna retreat without taking too much damage. Well, Greyhound does get knocked out by the Pack 40 creeping up. Jaffe's moving up here, but they won't be able to do very much to this MG42. He retreats anyway. Uh, now a Brumbear on the field. And actually, I feel like the Chaffees are in a good spot to deal with this Brumbear. First shot does a fair amount of deflection damage, but the Chaffees are so fast. The Seek and Destroy popped on one. Oh, and they're going to do a base inspection. And one eats a pack 40 shot. This is dangerous. Ranger's also doing a fair amount of damage. Chaffees... They're not going to knock out the Brumbear, but they are both going to escape. And Debacle now starting to even out at least the VP ticker, getting the second VP in the center. MG42 on the south side, uh, preventing him from capping that. AT gun now over here, unescorted, but the Chaffees are not ready for it. Does look like this Chaffee may get away. Oh no, the pack refaces. Uses the hold fire, but... The pack gets a second shot off, and one Chaffee goes down for free. Another rifle squad out for debacle. Another AT gun out as well. Debacle pushing hard through the center, trying to force. Oh, oh. <laughs> And that rifleman squad goes down. I don't know if that was the crew from the AT gun or one of the grenadiers. That's a nice shot. Oh, Pgrans hit a mine. And they're just going to retreat to heal up. Now, Hoshot should be able to just unlock the Panther here, since he already has the building for it. He doesn't need to worry about the call-in version. MG-42s on both flanks, uh, trying to hold down these VPs, and so I think Hoshot has decided that he can win this on VPs. He's already got Debacle under 100, and so he's going to focus on driving down those pushes. Now, three pack 40s out, um, so one salvo is going to burn down you know, either the Chaffee that's here or the Chaffee that's in production right now. Rifle Squad finds that MG-42 in the south. Ranger's calling in some additional weapons. So two Chaffees, decent counter for this Brumbear. And despite the multiple Pioneer Squads, Brumbear's still not on full health. Mortar forces MG-42 to displace, but it's still in a good spot to cover that VP. Rifle squad picks up another bazooka. Where the hell did they come from? Interesting that he wants the rangers to focus on the uh, the anti-infantry. Jaffees are going to come over here to try to push on this VP, but they're not really going to do much damage. In fact, they're just going to eat a Panzerfaust here. Oh, Vespa on the field for a hoe shot. Maybe hoping to counter battery this mortar. Now Debacle can unlock. Uh, the artillery piece, his own M2A1 howitzer, and then either the artillery call in or the free fire. He's got plenty of command points. Another rifle squad out. Oof. First Vespa shot does a ton of damage. Forces the MG to retreat, and this AT gun's almost no health. But it's forced back by rifles with bazookas. So interesting combination here. Chaffees are in place, but again, not going to do much to these Grenadiers. And now you've got a Pack 40 and a Brumbear on the flank. Ranger's going to sprint away. This AT gun, uh, not going to last very long against the Brumbear, but the Chaffees will. And now Rifle Squads with Bazookas pushing on the Brumbear. Oh. The deflection damage on the Brumbear is still really solid. AT gun does go down. The Rangers kill a squad of Pioneers. Oh. Rifle's in trouble here. Pgrens focusing them down. 
And they do, they get wiped as well. Man, pretty brutal <laughs> series of engagements here in the center. Rangers versus Triple Vet Pegrens, and the Pegrens do retreat. Everybody forced to retreat on this end. Americans are debacle now down to 50 points. He says, I didn't make enough AT guns. Brumbear's now at full health, and this AT gun's done. Yep. Chaffee's gonna try to run it down. They get past the Pack 40. There's a second one in the rear. Can they clear this Brumbear? No. They're gonna lose both Chaffee's here. To the Pack 40's one. Oh, one. He gets away. He gets a killing shot off on the Brumbear. He drives into the base. Will he kill the Vespa too? Oh man, the Vespa goes down. There's no way this Chaffee makes it out of there. But that's a pretty good trade. Two Chaffees for a Vespa and a Brumbear. MG42 sparring on this VP here uh, on the north side of the map. But Hoshot's going to get the triple cap back on. This is not looking good for Debacle now. If this Chaffee gets away, holy cow. They're driving through Hoshot's base. Debacle is going to capture the north side with MG42, and he's got infantry pushing up here in the center. It's on, boys. Sorry for the janky camera movement there. The Rangers have the have really good cap speed. He has a chance to pick up this Pack 40 here. With these rifle squads. Yep, Pack 40 goes down, and Hoshot at this point just really, really trying to make sure that he captures this VP. Oh man, this grenade, MG42 is gone. Debaco caps up the center, but can't challenge uh, either of the other VPs. Hoshot's going to complete the cap on this. A brand new Brumbear. The hero Chaffee. Uh, no no repairs. And that's going to be it. Hoshot takes this one against Debacle. Hey everyone. Welcome back. So as always, going to start off with a review of the build order here. So Debacle, playing as the U.S. Advanced Infantry Battle Group, starts with a scout and straight into three rifle squads. And he gets a mortar. And then he goes ISC. Uh, for his tech, which, you know, obviously provides a captain, uh, into an M8 Greyhound, an engineer squad to support the Greyhound, uh, two Chaffees, uh, an AT gun, and then you see his tech kind of stall out as you get into the late game, replacing losses. So, uh, a third Chaffee, a fourth rifle squad, uh, another AT gun, uh, a, a fourth Chaffee, and then another rifle squad to replace one that he lost. Um, for Hoshot, playing as the Wehrmacht, mechanized battle group, you see a two pioneer start, uh, two grenadiers. With the mechanized battle group, they don't get the MP40 upgrade available to them. Uh, so then he goes two MG42s. Really, one he's replacing the one that he lost to debacle early game uh, into the Panzer Grenadier headquarters. Uh, so Panzer Grenadier, Panzer Grenadier, two eight rods from the mechanized battle group, uh, two Pack 48 T guns, uh, and then into the Brumbear, um, an additional Pack 40, uh, a Vespa self propelled art artillery piece. Uh, and then a replacement Brum Bear towards the end of the game. So when I think about this game, because I think it was kind of interesting back and forth, and and neither side really got into their late game uh, very much. Hoshot going for the Brum Bear, which I think was more a reaction to the way that Debacle was playing. So Debacle played very infantry heavy. Obviously, he went Rangers. He had the one squad of Rangers out. Um, but you saw a lot of reliance on the motor pool. And I think this is kind of the risk of rangers in 1v1 um, is if you aren't able to amass like overwhelming infantry power because uh, you're still heavily reliant on the rifle squads that one squad of rangers was really effective but could only be one spot on the map and so then you see over investment uh into the motor pool right so the greyhound was great and did a lot for him four chaffees i think was more uh, of a thought of like 
hey, I know heavy armor can show up now, and I'm not prepared to deal with it. Um, and while uh, it did work, it knocked out a Brumbear and a Vespa eventually, the problem is those Chaffees don't really address the root core of your problem, which is map control and your inability to consistently win uh, engagements against the Vermont, right? You've got your Rangers, they've got their Panzer Grenadiers, and so it's this constant kind of back and forth. Then when the Brumbear hits the field, um, it's able to do so much damage to those team weapons uh, and to the infantry rolling around, and the chaff is just out of position to really punish it with the pack 40s. Um, so I think if I'm if I'm debacle, I'm either if you're going infantry support center, then really really doubling down um, instead of teching for BARs, maybe going for the advanced logistics. You can get more rangers out and not get this penalized um, for the the kind of the manpower uh, cost there, uh, and then. Less investment in the motor pool, right? Four chaffees is 200 fuel. That is uh, a tank depot and a Sherman, uh, or tank depot and almost a Sherman bulldozer. And just like the Brum Bear, that bulldozer is really helpful. You have the infantry to support the push. The bulldozer can take a couple of shots from an AT gun. Um, and I think that's when you start to kind of force uh, the Wehrmacht back. Uh, the problem with the chaffees, they are super mobile, but they don't really do anything to infantry. And so you can't use them to roam around the map like you can with Greyhounds or eight rods uh, to kind of deal with that that threat there. Ho shot on his part, I thought he played it really well. Um, maintained a lot of pressure. The two eight rods were great at kind of roaming around and, and keeping uh, debacle on the back foot. Um, the AT guns in the rear, just a really solid deterrent against the light vehicle play. The Chaffee uh, and the, the Greyhound just can't take very many hits, especially without the mechanized support center, uh, without the improvised armor. Uh, Vespa was an interesting choice. Um, it was good for trying to clear out some of the AT guns in the back. Eventually gets knocked out by that hero Chaffee. Um, and then really the focus on the Brumbear. I think this is something that like I mess up all the time. Is I'm, I think, oh, I need a Panzer IV because I need the multi-role vehicle. But when you have the good infantry coverage, the Brumbear makes a lot more sense. You can deal with team weapons. You can deal with rifle squads that are, are clustered up. Uh, and you're not worried as much uh, about the threat of Shermans or Hellcats coming out. So uh, pretty simple uh, kind of review here. I think, in all honesty, like it's just kind of good back and forth play. Um, both players around the same level. I think, you know, a, a rematch maybe goes a little bit differently. Um, but appreciate uh, the players for, for sending this one in. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you all in the next video.